Hi, this is Kiyomi Emmy with IndieExpress.com, and I'm here with Jared Drake, who is the director of... Visioneers. <laughs> and you actually, your brother actually wrote the piece, correct? Are you guys co wrote together? Uh, no, my brother wrote it. I directed it. Uh, we work very closely uh, together. The way, the way we look at it is like we're each other's closest advisor. So, you know, my skill set is line directing, his line writing, but we're on each other's back pretty much 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> and how is that working out with your brother in a relationship that way? Uh, it's great, you know. I mean, it's such a tough racket making movies to have somebody who is, is is as fully invested in it as you that has the same sensibilities and the same desires and the you know the same wants out of all of it just makes it so much easier I don't know how people do this alone you know I really don't <laughs> <laughs> okay so tell us about this dark comedy visioneers um, it's a it's about it's set in an alternate reality where people actually physically explode from stress and repression or unfulfilled desires you really don't know what it is it's a combination of things um, it's a comedy it's supposed to be funny so you can laugh at that if you want <laughs> um, and one of the symptoms of exploding is, has, is, is having dreams and our main character starts dreaming one night doesn't know what to do with it and becomes a story about you know is he going to chase his dream and threat exploding or is he going to try and forget about his dream and just do the Jeffers thing and, and tell us what the Jeffers thing is <laughs> <laughs> Jeffers thing is, I mean, that's a big, big question if you want to get onto it. But at the Jeffers Corp, the Jeffers thing is just pretty much sitting there and, and uh, you know, doing data entry and copying things over and handing it to someone else for 10 hours a day. So, But I like the way the movie flows. As uh, uh, There's a lot of um, mocking culture and mocking commercials or how much information we get. Did, uh, did, how did that come about? I think, you know, I, th I think the point we wanted to make with the film was it's not necessarily corporations that are bad or the media that's bad. It's anybody that, that tries to strip your individuality. So, you know, we take a pot shot at everyone. We take a pot shot at a group of hippies even, you know. And it's anybody, it's any group that tries to say, come with us and don't think. Like, just come with us and just be a part of this and listen to us. So. So the name, uh, the lead character's name is George Washington. Uh, Winster Hammerman. Yeah. Winster Hammerman, which I think is hilarious because there's a scene in the movie where he lives in the house, in the original house, and, but there's the living room that's sort of the non, uh, the sort of the sacred room, I guess, or the um, historical room. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's his own little personal museum. Right. And how the, the tour, there's a part where the tour bus comes. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and says he lives this ordinary life, you know, so... Yeah. Is it, it, it sort of mocking what you are and your identity from from history or for what you're where you come from as well? Yeah, I mean, I think it's um, you know for George specifically, it's an added pressure because he has this whole history behind him that his forefathers were great, great people. He's a descendant of George Washington, you know, the first president, and he's just a tunt that works at the Jeffers Corporation. And people, you know, the tour bus comes around every single day and they talk about how great, you know, this family history has been. And there George is and he goes and does data entry his whole life, you know. And so <laughs> his dream, actually, he's he, not to give it all away, but he starts dreaming about, you know, how could he go back to his ancestors and become more like them in a way. And that's ultimately what he tries to do. Well, you have a great cast. Tell us, tell us everybody, you know, all the lead characters in the movie. We have we our our lead that plays George Washington, Mr. Hammerman, is a comedian called uh, comedian Zach Galifianakis, who's great. I mean, he's absolutely phenomenal. Um, uh, Judy Greer plays his wife. We have Missy Pyle, who's who's uh, she plays a, a host on TV. Um, we have James Le James Legro, who plays George's brother, Zach's brother. Um, we have D.W. Moffat, um, Chris Coppola, Aubrey Morris, you know, who was in Clockwork Orange. We had the, the coolest cast of all time. And a lot of that goes back to the script, I think. Um, because my brother, I mean, he, the characters he created, he, each one of them has their own mini arc. Like, everyone in the movie has an arc. And actors just die for that, to have characters like that. So that really got him excited, I think. Well, it's a great film. It's hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> every gesture, every sort of, and you, and you, all of a sudden there's a sort of undertone. Of, you don't quite know what they're going to say. Then all of a sudden they say the zinger of a line and you're like, wow, that's great. Yeah. So I wish you all the best of luck with this film. Thank you. Congratulations on being at, here at AFI Los Angeles. And what's next for the film for you guys? Um, we may go to a few more festivals. This is kind of the end of our festival run. Um, 
We may decide to do a few more depending on what happens with distribution, but we're basically trying to figure out how to get it out there so everyone can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good. Congratulations to you. It was really, really nice to meet you, Jared. Yeah. And this is Kiyomi Emmy with IndieExpress.com.